guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we're going to be testing out the brand new Hourglass Vanish Concealer. The reviews on this are kind of crazy. Everybody is raving on and on and on about it. Uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying it to my skin and then wearing it all day and showing you guys exactly how it wears, if it lasts, if it creases, if it fades, if it goes really, really gross and shiny and greasy. And we're going to test all of that out. If you're not already familiar, and I mean if you've watched any of my videos in the past about them, Hourglass did come out with a stick vanish foundation and then a liquid vanish foundation. And both of those products were really, really beautiful. Really nice full coverage, really perfecting on the skin, but still not like heavy or cakey or gross. Really, really nice product. So yeah, I'm super, super excited to see if this actually holds up to those and is just as good. Now, the claims that they make about this, this is what they say. This is a concentrated concealer, so it's meant to deliver a whole lot of coverage, but without having to use too much product. Uh, it says it will deliver unbelievable coverage and an undetectable finish. Uh, it is a long wearing, it is crease proof. It is waterproof and it will hide imperfections, dark circles, discolorations. I'm just reading off the Hourglass website. Uh, blemishes, age spots, and hyperpigmentation. So all the things that we don't want being visible, this apparently will hide. Now here's the really cool feature of it. It contains microspherical powders that will fill in lines. So any of the fine lines underneath your eyes, apparently this will fill them in and it will ensure an even application. And obviously, like it said, you know, it will not crease. Uh, what else does it say? Skin looks natural, brightened and refreshed from morning until night vegan and cruelty free. And the other really cool thing that I did read about this is it contains white tea extract, which can help uh, reduce redness, inflammation, and the look of wrinkles over time. So it's a concealer, but it's also got skincare built into it to help reduce like puffy dark under eyes. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this. Uh, pretty much it's gonna be super straightforward. I'm going to be applying it underneath my eyes and also through the other areas of my face where I normally apply my concealer. I do also have the brush. Now they did release a brush with the concealer as well. Um, maybe we'll use a brush on one side and the sponge on the other side and then we're going to wear it all day and see how it actually goes. So this here is the packaging of it. It's really, really nice packaging. It's a plastic sort of container. It's frosted so it looked really pretty. You've got a H for hourglass on the top. You've got hourglass printed down here and then the actual doe foot app. Oh, that's quite a nice doe foot applicator. Hopefully you can actually see that there. So it's pointed at the end and it is quite flat. That's a really nice applicator. This one does come in 22 shades. All I can see about the shades is the swatches that I can see on the website and it does look really nice. It goes all the way from super pale down to super, super deep. And price wise, it's 34 USD. It's stocked at Mega Stores here in Australia for 54 Australian dollars. So yeah, it's meant to be waterproof and crease proof. I'm, I'm super, super excited. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna get this on my skin. And yeah, apparently only three dots of product will give me full coverage under my eyes. We'll see. Now the shade that I'm using here today is the shade Cotton. Uh, it is quite light. This is probably maybe one to two shades lighter than I would normally choose. But Hourglass does say that it's really, really good for brightening the skin. And I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but this promises 16 hours of wear. Now, I'm not going to be wearing it for 16 hours today, uh, but I'm going to give it a really, really good chance. It's rated 4.4 out of 5 stars. Like, I've been reading through the reviews just like, oh, amazing. <laughs> you know how, like, sometimes products will come out that'll make you feel really, really excited? This is one of those ones. So... Use applicator to apply directly onto the skin. Concentrated formula requires just one to three dots under each eye. Oh my gosh. Use formula remaining on brush to target other troubling spots. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so let's try. I feel like three dots is where I'm going to be at. So let's try that. Now that applicator definitely put a lot of product on the face. So you do actually get quite a bit of product. Oh, I should tell you also, you get six mil of product in this one. So we're going to go... The other side now. Now, like I said, I will give the brush a run for its money. So, I mean, that's how they say to apply it. So we're going to, we're going to do what we're told. We're going to be well behaved. So I'm going to start blending this out. It's definitely a little too light for my skin. Um, so it should give a really nice brightening effect under the eyes. Blending it in. I wouldn't say that it blends in that well with the brush, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I'm so used to using sponges underneath my eyes, but it's really, really lightweight. It does feel quite creamy. It's actually drying down quite quickly. Um, and it's giving me a lot of coverage, but much like what they say, it's giving me that coverage without feeling super, super heavy. So, yeah, so far so good. I 
feel like the brush took a really, really long time to blend. Let's try it with a sponge. I'm just going to go over it with the sponge to really smooth it out. Oh, that does look really, really nice. I wouldn't say that it's entirely corrected the darkness under that eye, though. Um, looking at it now, I would still probably want to put, like, just see, like, right just in here. I would still want to put a little bit in there to correct that, but might be different with a sponge. So let's try out the sponge now. Blending that underneath the eye. Gosh, it's so lightweight. It's like freakishly lightweight, actually. It's quite bizarre. I would say if I was comparing to how it felt on the skin, probably MAC Pro Longwear. So that's like a really liquidy formulated concealer, but it like delivers a lot, a lot, a lot of coverage. So I'd say it feels similar to that. All right, so that is now applied under both of my eyes. Oh my goodness. It is freakishly lightweight on the skin. Like it's very hard for me to actually be able to describe this to you without you feeling it, but it does not feel like I've applied anything underneath my eyes at all. Like it feels really, really smooth. I think with the side where I did apply it with the brush, um, I do want more, like I want more coverage. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more just right on the inner part of my eye where that darkness is. And I'm gonna do it on the same, like the same on the other side as well. Cause if I don't, I might end up with one eye that's a lot more highlighted than the other. So let's go in and blend it. I don't think that the brush is worth it. I mean, the brush is expensive for starters and I just don't think it's necessary. So. Ditch that. Blending in. You want to use a really nice soft sponge, obviously, when blending in concealer. It's a very delicate area underneath your eyes. Oh my gosh, look at that coverage. It is very, very bright. And my, even, my, like, even like next to it, my nose is looking red. Even though my nose didn't look that red before with my foundation, it now looks red because the concealer is giving me that much coverage. So that's really, really cool. Super lightweight. Even building up a second layer. Still feels really, really lightweight. Like there's pretty much nothing there. Let's pop a little on my schnozzy, a little up here, and a little on my chin. That's all I'm gonna put on. So little, little, little. Uh, I like you guys have seen me use other concealers. Like normally with my Holy Grail Too Faced one, and this is a full coverage concealer. I will put a lot more product on. So we'll see how this one goes. One blend that one out. Like it goes a really, really long way. Like that was only one little line how far it goes it's definitely full coverage it's definitely lightweight and i would definitely say like based on what i can see so far that those micro spheres in the formula like they do blur out the skin and they do give your skin a really seamless look um i really want to pick this up in some darker shades as well uh, one that matches my foundation exactly for days when i don't want to highlight and also i'd be interested in getting it in some deeper shades to actually like contour with it so yeah, and it's covered up all of the redness on my nose really, really nicely there. Look at that. It's not sinking into my pores. It's not caking or anything. Yeah, okay. Things are looking good so far. I mean, whether or not it actually lasts on my oily skin, that'll be the real test. But so far, it is looking gorgeous. All right, so here is what my skin is looking like. It really has blended like perfectly seamlessly. Um, it's not created any texture. It's not settling into any fine lines or anything. I feel like it's done a really good job at correcting my under eyes. Um, I will show it again. I am going to pick it up in, um, you know, some deeper shades, like I said, and I will have another go with it uh, with that as well. But honestly, like this is really it is looking really, really nice. And it like I probably said it a million times already, but it is so freakishly lightweight on the skin. Like you can't even feel that it's there. It honestly doesn't even feel like it's there at all. So what I will do now is I will actually set it in place. I'm obviously going to be using my Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder. You guys know the deal by now. Picking it up on a sponge and I'm going to set that concealer in place. I have not found a concealer that doesn't work amazingly with this powder. Like she is bloody Perfect. So setting. Oh my gosh, look how smooth it looks with that powder. Oh, look at that eye in comparison to that eye. That is insane. And it is still so freakishly lightweight. Oh, hourglass. I like what you've done here. Now, like I said, uh, this concealer is supposed to hold up for 16 hours. We're not going to be wearing our makeup for quite that long today. I'm going to wear it for a reasonably long, like mm, probably 10, maybe 12 hours. Uh, we're not going to make it to 16 though, but um, yeah, I'm hoping and we're going to see and I'm hoping and praying that it's going to last really well. So I will do a six hour check-in like I always do. 
and then I will come back and do you know an end of the day check in before I take all my makeup off so yeah this is what it is looking like it just looks beautiful on the skin still feels super super lightweight so yeah I will see you guys in about six hours for an update Hopefully it's still looking this perfect. Sorry, me again. I realized that I needed to come back and show you what it looked like with my makeup entirely done. So I have the rest of my makeup on. Pretty much just applied bronzer, blush. I'm not wearing any highlighter because I don't want the highlighter to like sort of throw off you being able to see the texture of the concealer. So yeah, this is what it is looking like. It still looks really, really, really nice. Like I'm low-key looking at my skin right now being like, why? Did I not have this concealer months ago? <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in about six hours. All right, so we are officially at the six hour wear mark with this concealer and I gotta tell you guys, oh, things are looking really, really, really good so far. I have got no creasing, no settling, no caking, no separating. It's also controlling my shine really, really well. Like this concealer looks absolutely amazing. So let's zoom in and have a closer look. All right, so here are my under eye areas. As you can see, there is no creasing and no settling. And it sounds really, really gross. But when I like separate these like little lines, I have got two particularly sort of deep, fine lines just underneath my lower lid here. And if I sort of stretch them and kind of like pull them apart. You can see that there is no concealer actually sitting in those lines. Also hasn't transferred off. There's no creepiness. You know how sometimes when you apply a concealer and it gets like that creepy powdery kind of texture, none of that going on. It just looks absolutely beautiful. So still intact on my forehead, still looking perfect on my nose there. I've got a little bit of shine just on the end of my nose and then still intact on my chin. Now I have eaten lunch as well. Didn't eat particularly gracefully like a lady, I must admit. Nothing has disappeared. So yeah, so far I am really, really impressed. So this is the six hour mark. I will come back in another six hours. That'll be like later, later, later on tonight when I'm just about to get into bed and take my makeup off and stuff. So yeah, fingers crossed it is still looking just as good then. But yeah, so far guys, damn. I am feeling really, really, really impressed with this one. And it's just light as air. Like, still cannot feel it on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel like I need to wash my face. It doesn't feel like my skin's not able to breathe. Uh, it, yeah, I am really, really impressed with that. So, yeah, I will see you guys in another six hours. Fingers crossed, things are still looking this good. All right, so I am back with my third and final check-in of this concealer today, guys. And honestly, so excited to be able to let you know that the results are exactly the same as the midday check-in. Still absolutely no creasing, no caking, no settling. Everything just looks and feels so smooth. Still feels really, really lightweight on the skin. I am truly, really, really impressed with this one. I think that Hourglass have done a fantastic job. I actually think that I prefer the concealer. I mean, I did enjoy the Hourglass Vanish Foundation, but I way, way, way prefer the concealer. This is easily going to be in probably my top five. Yeah probably my top five concealers. I am so impressed with this on the skin. Um, I'll zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. You'll have to excuse how ridiculously tired I look. Oh my gosh. I've got such a bad headache. I need to go to bed immediately. <laughs> but have a look at my under eye areas. Still absolutely no settling. There's no creasing. There's no lines. I feel like it still looks really, really nice and smooth and airbrushed. No crepiness, no dryness. Um, hasn't separated, it's not caking or anything. It just looks absolutely beautiful. All the coverage is still on my nose. That's another problem area for me. A lot of the time, you know, concealers will wipe off my nose during the day. And despite my natural oils coming through, you can see it like I've got a shine on my nose there. But none of the concealer has transferred off. There's no redness peeking through. It's still looking really, really nice on my forehead here. It hasn't creased or separated. And still looking perfect on my chin. And like I said earlier, doesn't feel like I'm wearing a full coverage concealer at all. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like my skin isn't able to breathe. Like it is honestly a beautiful, beautiful product. Um, yeah, definitely. I'm going to say that I really, really do recommend this one. I'm going to go online right now and order it in some more colors. I do want to try it for our contouring as well. I just think because it's such a beautiful, lightweight, blendable, creamy formula, I think it will be a really, really amazing cream contour. And I want to get it in the same matching color as my foundation for days when I don't want to highlight, like I said earlier. But 
I'm so impressed with this. If you have been on the fence with this one or you've been wanting to know how it goes on oily skin before actually investing in it, I do really, really recommend it. Just, it has worked beautifully today. So yeah, let me know if you have tried it yourself, your experience with it, what happened with you and what your skin type is as well with their experience. I would love to know and anyone else reading the comments always loves to know as well. It's better if we can help each other out as much as possible. But yeah, I'll, I'll be wearing this in more videos. I will be continuing to update you guys and I may need to do a new top five concealers video. You might be seeing that one coming soon because this is a serious contender and she may even find herself at the top. Like based on how this is looking and feeling, she may even find herself at the top. So yeah, that's probably it for the video today, guys. Oh my gosh, I need to... Oh, I feel like all sticky and gross and like my hair is just... Yeah, we need to go and get in the shower, but I hope that today's video was really, really helpful. I hope that it answered any questions you might have had about the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. Honestly, straight up, it's gorgeous. That's uh, There's really no cons with it either. Like, it's gorgeous. So give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Have an amazing day as always. I love you guys heaps and heaps, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!